Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed me your world. Not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. Toby. Eivor, it's Sven. He... he passed while I was away. Tovi, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was... in his bed. Sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so... empty. Not like in our stories. What stories do you mean? When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready, and I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work, as if nothing happened, because they don't know. They don't know I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give, but all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. But you are so strong, and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me, or worse. But this was the fate woven for me, so I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Tovi. And know you are valued. See you, old friend.
Let's go. Sail out! We must grow in these waters. Sail! Catch the wind! Let's hear a story. You might not be aware, but I am a man with considerable shipbuilding craft. In my youth, just 13 winters old, I designed an improvement to our dragon boats. One that gave them extra strength. It is so common now that none remember my genius design. But at the time, I was praised from the top to the bottom of Norway. Save it for later. Take the plunder! Burn the rest! Thank <laughs> you. 
Give me a hand over here.
I need your eyes, my friend. Give me a hand with this. Hey, come here. Show me.
blocked from the other side. Sunin, guide me. Go, my eyes. Go! We can retrace his steps. Luck he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that, that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another, he was bestowed on us like a... like a babe among the reeds. Over there. He may have stayed somewhere nearby. If he did, he... if he did, Maybe. he left traces. Be my eyes. Oh no, Eivor! Over here! A set of tools. If they belong to Wallace, why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. Careful, Petra. Look at his eyes. There's something wrong with this one. Strong scent down here. Strange and heady. I don't recognize it. It has a familiar sourness, but I can't place it. Not the smell of death. It is almost pleasant. Must be Wallace's clothes. The trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. Wallace stayed here. Seems he made something to eat. Why would he leave his campsite? Where could he have been going? Someone was wounded. A knife attack, I think. Oh my god, Eivor! Eivor, come this way! What have you found? I saw it, Eivor. I saw him nearby. Wallace? The white elk! The 
white elf that brought me to Wallace years ago. It was there. I saw it there. Are you certain? As sure as I see you now. He's back. Our guardian is back, leading us to my brother. Hurry, there's no time. Petra, where are you? Petra, hello, Mimia, guide me. Have I lost her too? Stretch your wings, Sunan. Petra. Show yourself! It's... Ah, the elk. He will know where she has gone. <laughs> I am... I'm sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the white elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It, it may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. You live a comforting life. Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. Uh, we are looking for her brother, Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? <laughs> Is Petra near? Uh, I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. Wha what is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Here in Midgard, return to Jotunheimer! Go now, or die here! What have you done with Petra? What have you done to Petra? Answer me! Evil! Stop! I'm here! I will make them talk, Petra. I must know the truth. I must know where you are. Evil, I am right here. There is no need to question the story any further. Ah. Uh, yes. Sorry. Now come. I believe I know where we'll find Wallace. Up there! His trail leads this way. Petra, I, I met your old friend. The White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes, before I found you. You were visited! For a time, we talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Ah, oh, look there! This is strange, Seda Vitra. Where are you? Petra, how are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move, run in a straight line. Too far! Too far! Amazing! You did it, just like your Sunan, and not a scratch on you. Now let's go. Wallace should be over there. Are you sure Wallace is here? I, I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course. The rabbits. 
We've been here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no! The wolf spirits have wakened! Good day, Squid. I hope I'm not intruding, but have you seen my brother Dad! This one doesn't speak Arabic! Petra, hurry! I see him. I do. Come on, Eivor, chase the elk! No, no, please don't disappear! Not now! Ah, oh, not until we have one! No! No! Don't go! Wait, we we're, we're home. Full circle with nothing to show for it. Uh, so what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone brain stoat! We've been looking for you! And here I am! Freshly rested and ready to work. Your day's late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home. Slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elk. Just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They are often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be bussing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could. But I will have to ask the rapids for permission. Randri, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped, in this room, and this settlement, and this life. I cannot help you with your life just now, but I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grand Bridge or somewhere nearby for a change of pace. That sounds lovely, and too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Ranvi, take a break. Let us make for Grandbridgeshire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not stretch your legs and fill your lungs? I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. We won't take the long ship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spent... So 
long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the Longhouse. We will need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandebridgeshire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Uh, are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. Yeah. It really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen. Hear stories from you and scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. The guards here are vigilant. What is that? This is where the summer army retreated when Grantobridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. And here we are. Welcome to Grantebridge. We should make our way to the Longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London, and a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here too. 
hann eigi dauður enda. Guðvirðin vitu að við er frestur við mjög kallar. Hann hefur eigi getað mæl vís að vera Jesus en samma. Well, 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 it's the day for I see. It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah, good memory. Good to see you again. This is Randvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Randvi. Evo seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vod there. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have encamped nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that will ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. The bandits are camped on the river, he said. East of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Randri. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from the table for a day, and already you are lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you are teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Abel Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with. What do you oh, see? Oh, certainly not, Avor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would. Oh, certainly not, Avor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. There, the bandit camp. All right, stay close and do as I do. Rude and look sternly at the horizon. By all means. for a battle. So here we go.
Now to deliver Magni his horse. a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Yeah. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink to celebrate our victory. At home. Tekla has all the mead and ale. At home. Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Hey. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank the gods she is safe. And thank you, Eivu. And your friend Ranvi, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Eivor, over here. Look at this. Oh, someone is thirsty. Are you determined to get drunk? I am determined to get you drunk. Come on, scare- What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right, let us drink. Beautiful. Something after all. Oh, Any more and I'll drown. Ha! I am the Mead Queen, slayer of wolves and barrels. I told you I would drink you under the table. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. 
After just one more stop. Oh, Randvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already? Well, I do hope to see you again. Sunday. Turn any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you for everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travels. I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Randvi, slayer of bandits and breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Suniva described this tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Soma. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close, very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. But nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskona as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Randvi. If you must. <laughs> Look there. That must be the tower. Take the bridge. as beautiful as Suniva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. <laughs> you climb well for one who folds maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. Look at this. <laughs> A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but... Now I've watched you scale a tower in furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together, over the open seas, raiding or traveling. 
or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream, and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh, no, I am... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is... I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. That is... comforting to hear. I have long felt the same way. But I banished the thought that this would ever happen. Many times I wished to tell you. Wished to say what was in my heart and what I desired. But duty kept me from it. Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed me your world. Not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. Andre? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. <laughs> 